everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the baby blanket stitch, which is the stitch that you see here in front of you. It's a very easy stitch. It works up quickly uh, and it's called the baby blanket stitch because it's commonly used in baby blankets. It's very pretty. It doesn't use much yarn. So if you're looking for a last minute baby shower gift or just gift, um, this would be a great stitch to try out. It's very simple, made with double crochet, single crochet, and chain stitches. So why don't you grab a hook and some yarn and we will learn how to crochet the baby blanket stitch together. So today for this tutorial I am going to be using the Karen times Pantone yarn by Yarn Inspirations. I'm also be go going to be working with a six millimeter crochet hook. And if it's your first time or maybe you've been to my channel before but haven't already, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. It is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. So without further ado, we will, we will learn the baby blanket stitch together. What we're going to do is we're going to start by making our slip knot. And this stitch pattern today, swatch, is going to be worked in rows. For the baby blanket pattern, you are going to need a foundation chain with a multiple of four stitches plus one and then another one for our foundation chain. So uh, a total of four stitches plus two for today, working from a foundation chain. So today I'm going to begin by chaining 26 chains. There's 15. and 26. Then the first thing we're going to do for row one is we're going to single crochet in the second chain from our hook. So count in one, two, work our first single crochet in that second chain from our hook. You're then going to chain three, skip two chains, and single crochet in the next chain. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Chain three, skip two, and single crochet in the next stitch. Chain three, skip two, and single crochet in the next stitch. Do that all the way along the length of your chain where you will uh, work your final single crochet in that final chain. For row two, you are going to chain three and turn your work. The chain three at the beginning of your row will count as a double crochet stitch. For row two, you are going to double crochet in that first stitch, single crochet in the next chain three space. In the next single crochet, you're going to work three double crochet stitches. You're now going to repeat single crochet in the next chain three space, followed by three double crochet in the next single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across. You can see that this is a stitch that works very quickly once you know the pattern. Cut 
coming up on my final set of three. When you arrive at your final single crochet stitch, you're going to work two double crochet stitches in that final stitch. Next, for row three, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're now going to work something similar as to what you did for round or for row one. So you're going to single crochet in that first stitch, chain three. Then your next single crochet is going to be in the center double crochet stitch of the group of three down below. So in that center double crochet stitch, work your single crochet. You're now going to repeat chain three, single crochet in the center double crochet of the set of three down below. Chain three and single crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across till you come to your final set of two and you're going to work your final single crochet stitch into the final double crochet stitch. Into that top of that chain three. And now for the rest of your pattern, you're simply going to repeat rows two and three. So your two, row two was your chain three, turn your work. You're going to work those double crochet shell stitches all the way across. So the first double crochet is in that first stitch, single crochet in the chain three, and three double crochet in the next single crochet stitch. So you're going to repeat that row and the single crochet and chain stitch row and that's all there is to working this baby blanket stitch pattern. So thank you so much for joining me for this quick tutorial on how to work the baby blanket stitch and uh, once again I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting! Bye!